Um, Sam Clark on, on Twitter has asked this about the dressing room. Does it really mean that much to both on what dressing room they have? I'm going to go to the fighters here, the current fighter, Anthony Crawler. What does it mean, the, the dressing room on the night for you? If you were told next time when you, you defend your world title that you've got to go in the little one at the end, is that a, a big deal or not? Me personally, I, I think I'm as laid back as you get. Like, Joe will be like, oh, this club, try this club. And I, it sounds unprofessional, but I couldn't care less. I'm like, Joe, it's sound, it's sound. No wear these ones, try these ones. I'm just thinking, that don't go with my kit, so there's not a chance of wearing them. <laughs> but um, I know for Scott and for Joe, it's, um, it's more, it's our principle, but that's a changing room that we, we've had for, like, say, Eddie's. Yeah, when he's put me and Scott on together. And is it more like a team dressing room? Yeah, that's what it is. We, we used to be in there and uh, you're on about smaller change rooms. Scott would normally get the big one. Scott would be there nice and early. And um, it's something he's used to. And listen, does it make a difference? Does Scott think it's different if he don't get it? No, I don't, but I, honestly, I will be shocked if Scott the Quig isn't in that changing room on um, Saturday night. I genuinely mean that. It's, um, because that, that could be like, say it's a bit of a, um, a sticking point at the minute, but that's something he feels strong about, and I saw Carl saying about superstitious. And um, Scott, he, he doesn't believe in that, he believes he trains too hard to little things like that. Come down to much more out of principle. Darren, your greatest night, of course, was, was in America. I guess you didn't get the biggest dressing room there, did you? No, it was the box room. <laughs> very good. But I, 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 I couldn't give a monkey's, honestly, what <laughs> change room was. It makes no odds. It makes, and, and to be honest, um, for me, if I, I, if I was not whinging about what train, change room I wanted to go in or what, uh, what corner I'm in or who comes out first, I think you come across more of a dangerous fighter. That all, your, all you care about is that first bell going and getting down to business. You don't give, uh, you're not worried about the change room or the gloves or anything like that. It's all a load of rubbish. Getting him and that bell goes, none of it matters. To be fair, I did want an ensuite. <laughs> but, you know, you can't have everything. So, I, 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 never, I never was bothered about anything like that. Um, Eddie might say, I thought I was right. I don't think I did not. Bothered at all, Spencer? Do you no. remember it so long ago? Yeah, no, not bothered at all. If I'm honest, I think that that was the least of my problems. Um, to worry about the size of the dressing room. It was about the opponent you had in front of you. I mean, to warm up somewhere really didn't bother me. And I think that... Just to echo really what Anthony was saying, if it was part of their, if, if, if all the boys have been going there all the time and they're used to having that environment and whatnot, then I can see a little argument being made there. But really, if I'm honest, no, it wouldn't, it wouldn't bother me at all. And I, and I wouldn't see it being a massive issue. And as, as Darren said, I think that if that's, if that's a problem and you're making that a problem, then you know, that's, that's probably the wrong thing to do at this stage of the game. I'm sure it'll all be sorted one way or the other. Robert.